Well, welcome. This is an exciting day. This is a, a great transformation and did the final walkthrough yesterday with the clients and they're so happy. They're so in love and I am too with this apartment. We all feel like we want to win the lottery and just move in or find one just like this to fix. But what we're going to walk through today is a great transformation of a very old apartment uh, that had all kinds of problems with plumbing. The building's 100 years old. We're up here in Morningside Heights. Great views of the west, Hudson, and, and north and south. So it's, it's really exciting. What we had here was the original bones of an apartment that hasn't been cut up. Um, we had enormous things to change. Doorbells are tough. Believe it or not, they're simple but tough. The new house phone, major plumbing problems. We, had, we have the water towers above us. And in here we had the building, had a, it delayed our project for several, almost a whole week. We put in all new, they had to put in all new copper pipes because they were galvanized. And there's about five runs and then a couple more in the back closet that was just scary. At least the building took care of it and it just caused us some delays, but it, it, was, it, was, it was trauma nonetheless. Um, you know, height issues like these beams that, that you can't move and you have to find the right kind of lighting and situations that work. Uh, the floor was really terrible. I know we have great before shots that we should cut in about how bad the floor was, but it cleaned up. Um, it's, it's, it's an incredible floor. You really just don't find herring bones that have really not been touched and they come back, they're beautiful. We use uh, golden oak as, a, as the stain and Duracell. Um, we use a semi-gloss under and a satin over so it gives it a really durable finish and it's water-based. It's, it's very conscious about BOCs. Let's look at the living room here. I know they have a lot of art so this will be a great living room. I think also a desk, open desk looking out uh, the north window just kept it modern and light. We found sconces in the wall, which was incredible because there was not enough light here. Another, you know, beautiful herringbone floor. My traditional signature change all the built-in so that we cover the old radiators and add a grill. And in this case, looks like there's storage, but it isn't. And it ties into the design of just about everything we've got going on in the apartment for really clean contemporary lines. Um, but I think the bones of this apartment from a, a layout perspective is really perfect for entertaining. And I know they have kids and families and relatives that are all coming into the city and want to be part of it, whether it's for the U.S. Open or, or for whatever, and they're big cooks. And uh, I, know, I know love being up here on the 15th floor with stunning views, which you'll see when we go through the dining room and the other part of the house. But now, let's just go to the kitchen and see what's here. The kitchen was, uh, in this building, a series of little rooms that reminded me of a rabbit hutch. So there was this funny area here, uh, and we chose to get rid of a door and put a pocket in it so that we just don't have to worry about it with soft clothes technology so it, you know, it, it doesn't bounce. Um, made a pantry you know with wine storage for them they are not wine cooler people but you know that's a great area right off of the dining room because you know all of their tableware and 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 better table top and cutlery can go here in china um, we use porcelain floors uh, we like the dark contrast in this case with with really lovely warm colors to catch the sun this has got incredible light this kitchen um, Again, very sustainable product oriented. We use Okate. This is a Calicutta. <coughs> I think it's called Calicutta, but it's a beautiful and, and warm countertop with a really white, white base. So one of the challenges was that we have existing gas. And I think if we cut in a before picture here, you'll see that this, this kitchen was just bizarre. It had a stove with gas pipes over there and a separate maid's room. And we just chose to cover it up in the closet and just add a little bit more upper storage. You know, this is probably their coffee bar and, you know, service entrance bringing the groceries in. We have our classic drawer microwave, um, which we're a big fan of because of soft clothes. We have toe kick drawers underneath, uh, two garbage rollouts here under the sink. So, you know, you can take care of your recyclables and whatnot, even though it's there right off the door, sink tilt out. 
my traditional custom cabinetry, but this is just this is just a, a shaker with a very small reveal. It's an eighth of an inch reveal. The drop ceiling helped us accommodate two things: piping that was going over the ceiling for gas, and then we have a ducted hood here that's going up over the roof and through that soften, and, and we had to penetrate the exterior wall. A lot of waterproofing issues. We have through the wall heat and air conditioners here, you know, with our custom our custom grills so it's easy to open and manipulate the controls here. Um, we have vented risers. These are two risers and you'll, there are grills on the other side of it. When we turn around and come back, you'll see just little egg crate satin aluminum grills that tie into the satin nickel that's in the kitchen. They have a convection up decor oven um, and a structural pipe here that we had to leave, a column we had to leave, so we decided to integrate um, using a Casablanca terracotta backsplash that, that ties in the warmth of the color and the, the real lightness of this of the paint that we chose for this kitchen. We also have a great Lieber, which we love. Uh, they, oddly enough, don't like ice makers, but if somebody ever wanted to, we've already pulled the wires in it so that it's there. Great storage area, desk area, filing cabinet, you know, storage for pantry is really deep. Um, this is less deep on this side. This is probably only 12 inches and then it gets to, it's a deeper here, it's probably closer to 15. This could be where you would store brooms and things like that because it's tall enough. Um, the washer dryer, the washer dryer, this is gas gas and, and uh, you know we have our flood stop for the washer so that if we have, ever have any problems we're, we're good. Accessible touch latch doors if I know which way to touch it would help. <laughs> there you go. So that if ever we need to get at it it's, it's hidden. It's not something you see. And then they have a, a bar which we probably have to move a little lower because they're smaller than I am and for me it's real easy but that was put at a standard height for jackets and I think we'll have to bring it down for them and figure out how to deal with the finish on that. But let's go out and take a look into the dining room area and see what else there is. Oh, I forgot there's a spice cabinet here that I really sort of like a lot because it lets you put the taller items on the back and still have your immediate, immediately accessible racks for the things you use all the time, which is fun and it's a nice way to deal with it. And I think we integrated everything that a great couple would want that's cooking. They always cook and they always entertain. So it's a huge kitchen. It's over, it's probably 25 feet from wall to wall. And um, I think it's really quite special. And, and honestly, we just absolutely love it. I think they will too. So let's go now look here at the dining room. We had a bit of a challenge with electric. We had to upgrade, not, not the amperage, but we upgraded it. And then we had issues with doors. So we, you know, we, we used the existing doors to try to, to save a little bit um, and just clean them up with, you know, with the base, you know, with the white trim. And this is beacon gray in here, which is really quite lovely. And did a kind of, again, old is new, really a contemporary approach to lighting here. And this has got a fabulous view west of New Jersey and the Hudson. Um, decided to go, we decided to go wall to wall because we have a through the wall PTAC system here for heating and air. And we used oil rod bronze to tie into the hardware details that we added in storage, you know, to minimize what we use for opening them. Kept all the outlets in the, the baseboards, but I think that all in all, this, this is going to be a, a great, comfortable dining room that I doubt that they'll leave. I think that when you're here in the afternoon and you see the beautiful sunsets, it's just, it's quite extraordinary. So let's go look at the back side of the house, which is really the living quarters. And one of the challenges, I suppose, always with these homes in Manhattan in pre-war is nothing is level and nothing is plumb, so it's crazy. We have doors that are not the same sizes. We have strike plates that didn't exist that have to be made. But all in all, once we took it apart and started, you know, changing it, it, it was um, really a challenge, but quite extraordinary. We finished this in three and a half months. This is a guest room. Um, I know they have family coming, so we've included 
ceiling fans, they are not a big fan of air conditioner. There are two walls that we had to do through, two rooms we had to do through the wall air conditioners because there's um, decorative moldings on the outside of the building and you cannot p penetrate a wall and interfere with the moldings. Even though this is not a historic building, it was an issue. So in this room, we have to have a, a window air conditioner. But we did, uh, you know, refinish the closets. All closets now have uh, bamboo floors because we thought that tied in well with the, with the oak. And they're bringing in uh, the container store and alpha systems just to economize on what they're spending for their uh, interior closets because they've got a lot of space. They've got two front closets, the coat closet. One of them has, you know, storage for shoes and whatnot. And then a big hall closet here. This one we chose to use a three-door sliding system before we see the master bedroom in the hall bath or the hall bath first. Um, and we like the Heffala tracks because we can, we can put the automatic stops in them and we use, we use soft close technology, which really helps us because when we push it back, it softly pulls it in, which is really important. I think I'm going to add an edge pull because it's a little bit hard for them to to deal with, so we'll add the matching oil or bronze edge pole that we have for our, we also have the, for our pocket doors that we had to the pantry. But in here now we have a, a very contemporary bathroom. And uh, we're using in here porcelain. The whole thing is porcelain, but it's, it's absolutely stunning and it looks like marble. We just, we just think it's such a great take for a, a contemporary approach to, you know, old is new again. Um, so we use our pure white Caesar stone, my custom vanities that always wrap around the plumbing with soft close technology. They use the Kohler memoirs to keep it a little bit more modern, I suppose. Um, the drop-in tub, you know, that we tile with the matching wall tile. Again, the right, the right color of porcelain floor that's tying into the graining and the in the in the tile we had to you know completely box out the windows add the caesar stone window sills add cubbies in the shower so that it, it's really i think a great statement compared to what it was and when you see the before and after pictures of this it's just crazy it's just gorgeous i happen to love starfire glass clear half inch frameless um, they're more expensive but they're beautiful we have radiant heat floors using the new heat systems because we absolutely love them and everywhere I can I put a dimmer. So um, since we've kept all the old doors we were matching that with our new doors in terms of, of keeping it consistent. The only place we have marble is on the stone saddles that's tying into the, the, the wall treatment and the floor treatment. In the master bedroom we have again repeated ceiling fans, we have hardwired smoke detectors, um, we have a separate radiator and air conditioner built into the wall that we added. They have a big walk-in closet here that they're going to, again, it's got some of our paint in it, but I always use jam switches so the door, you know, lights come on when you open the closet. They'll be doing this on Monday, We're doing the window treatments Friday morning for measurement with really just the, probably the Hunter Douglas. Um, it looks like, it looks, it's not a whiteout, it's about a 5% blockage and it's, it's a beautiful shade for in here that will be soft white to match that, that just has a, a balance on the top flat, very modern, simple treatment for the window treatments. The master bedroom bath also has the drop ceilings. We had a nightmare with these two baths because they're back to back and the plumbing, the plumbing is all in this wall. All, we had to redo this whole wall, so we wanted to put two medicine cabinets here so we could have two mirrors. I'm going to sneak back or sneak out of the way and turn around here. And we couldn't do that uh, because oh, there's so many pipes in the wall. It was just awful. So unfortunately, we had to sacrifice that, but we added really this little, what I call the banjo old, older top because we were lacking physical space to store things or keep things and um, I think we found and again this whole shower system was designed as well we designed the shower seats so that when they're older or as they age um, it, it'll be very easy to sit it's a big seat it's tucked into this window nook 
So we have two cubbies for soap and shampoos and whatnot, um, you know, consistent with the other bathroom fixtures. We, we boxed out anything that was in the way. There's a big drain from the, there's a terrace above us that's a public terrace. So we, we had to really deal with some existing problems. And, and again, I think it turned out, it's spectacular. And, and I don't think it could be done any better. Um, we're looking to see if we can put another bar on the outside of this so that it serves the purpose of, of both a towel bar on the outside and, a, and an ADA grab bar on the inside that, that you wouldn't really notice. Uh, and again, we have our radiant heat uh, system in here, dimmer lights you know, as we need them. But I think all in all, after the walk-in that we had yesterday morning, that this is really an astonishing change and transformation. And We'll just say ciao for now. See you next time.